Now that I have the SP metadata from the ClickSense server, I can go ahead and configure Active Directory Federation services to work with ClickSense. I've copied over the SP metadata to the Active Directory Federation server. And now I'm going to go into the Active Directory Federation Services Manager. Once I'm in the manager, I'm going to go over to the right-hand side and click on Add Relying Party Trust and click the Start button. I'm going to choose the middle radio option, which is going to allow me to import that SP metadata file that I brought over a moment ago. I click on the file and open it and click Next. I give the relying party trust a name. I'm going to call it ClickSense, all one word, and choose Next. And I'm not going to set up multi-factor authentication. I'm going to permit all users to access the relying party. I can click Next through the, and then go ahead and click Close to open the claim rules. I'll go to Add Rule, and I want to send LDAP attributes as claims, and I'll Name the claim rule the same as the relying party trust, call it click sense, and then I'll choose the active directory as the attribute store. And I'm going to add two attributes. The first is going to be the user principal name, and I'm going to select the UPN as the value for the user principal name. And then for the groups, I'm going to choose the token groups, unqualified names, and set that to the group attribute. And you'll see that these correspond to the claim URLs that I copied into ClickSense configuration uh, in the last video. Once that's set up, I'll click Apply and OK. And now I have my Relying Party Trust set up. If I double click on that Relying Party Trust, I can go ahead and look and see at the signature. There's my certificate that came from the ClickSense server, as well as the certificate for encryption. You can choose to remove this if you'd like. It's not required. And then I'm going to go over and click on Advanced, and you'll see by default, Active Directory sets this as SHA-256. Because we know we're using a SHA-1 certificate, we're going to switch this to SHA-1. If you're using a SHA-256 certificate coming from the ClickSense server, then you will want to leave this at SHA-256. Go ahead and click Apply and OK. Now, because we're using self-signed certificates, we have to go ahead and uh, set a PowerShell setting on the signing certificate and the encryption certificate to turn off the revocation checks for signing as well as encryption. So I've got uh, set ADFS relying party trust command, and I'm pointing it to the relying party trust, and then I'm setting the signing certificate revocation check to none, and then I'm also going to do the same thing for the encryption certificate check. Once that's complete, I can go ahead and test my ClickSense SAML configuration with ADFS. I'm going to head back over to my browser and open up a new window and type in the URL with the virtual proxy for ClickSense and ADFS. That will send me to my login page. I'll go ahead and log in as a user. And once I sign in, I'll be redirected to the hub. And that is ADFS configuration for ClickSense. Thank you very much.